Finally, we are back with an unboxing. By the way, my name is James Collex. I resell on eBay uh, in order to allow me to afford the nerdier things in life, allow me to find lovely retro nerdy goodness like this as well. This is the, the Tomy Let's Go Learner Driver. It's not the normal 80s version, which you're used to seeing, which is the turbo racing driver. This, I feel, is newer, but I've not been able to carbon date it at all. I can't find anything online. I can't find anything on a box. Unfortunately, there's no instructions. Now, there might actually be a date on the unit itself. I've not got that far. Now, I paid five pound for this at a, at a charity shop. I think, to be honest, it's worth triple figures minimum. The, the normal 80s one boxed is going for a pretty penny. Chances are this one is gonna do the exact same. But first of all, let's have a nice look at the box artwork because it's just really nostalgic. As you can see, there's some damage here, which it can be fixed to some degree, but I've, I've never taken a plunge at repairing any boxes from N64, SNES, etc. I've, I've seen many videos on it. I've never actually got around to doing it. But here, if you can just see over here, so just uh, zoom in a little bit. So here we have the numbers and the features. So we've got the ignition to switch on your Let's Go Learner driver vehicle on or off. We have a gear stick, uh, offers reverse, neutral and first, second and third gears. We've got a horn, uh, we've got a steering wheel, indicator, realistic dashboard dials, mirrors, destination panel, uh, and then that is it. It goes into other languages, which I presume we've got German, uh, Italian, and possibly French. Uh, but there we go, that's the box. That is the barcode in case you wanna try and find it. But I don't think you will. Okay, back to the rest of the box. Uh, we've got the, the top, which looks, I'm gonna turn it around the right way, looks a little bit like that. Uh, I mean, that's the, the best picture. If you was to have this on display as a collector's piece, but unfortunately there is a, a big old gash down in the bottom there. One side, the other side, the back we've seen, and the underside, which is that way around. But now it's time to look at the actual unit itself. And here it is. Uh, it's, it's a big old beast of a unit. Now we'll look around first before we turn it on. But you can see we've got the, the Tomy sticker just up there. And on the box, it actually shows a Tomy sticker here as well. But obviously we've not got that. So whether they were all like this, I genuinely don't know because uh, as I say, I've not been able to find it any information on this particular model. But we've got two wind mirrors, we've got an ignition key here, we've got our indicators, little steering wheel, little horn, a gear stick, and some random noise in the background. Uh, as you can see up there, we do have our little map and our car, nice little red car, the exact same as what we've, uh, we're driving at the moment. Then we've got the, the front of the vehicle, which I have to say, doesn't look as good in person as it does on the image of the box. Uh, but there we go. That is advertising for you. But it, it does look quite cool still. Uh, ah, we have found a date. I don't know if you can just see there. And as you can see there, it does say 1990. So it's a lot newer than the ones you are normally going to see out and about in the wild. It's my first one of these. I'm very, very happy to have one in my possession and looking forward to, to getting it started. So when I bought this from the charity shop, they actually threw in the batteries as well because they had no use for them. So inside it takes a lot of big batteries now these are oh which ones are these they're not the d's but they're, they're they're pretty big still they are pretty big they are mn oh they're c's the c's 1.5 volts and you do need six of them to power this bad boy so we might as well get it going so i'm going to turn it up like this hopefully you can still kind of see what's going on um so we've got our gear stick we've got our steering wheel we've got our indicators by the way don't know if you can quite see that and let's turn that around to there as you indicate it does actually indicate now this is about to get very loud i told you it's gonna get loud now unfortunately you can't quite see what's going on in the screen i'm going to dim the lights in a minute so hopefully you can see it a little bit better but you can actually drive around 
as you would do normally. That's neutral, now in reverse. Neutral, first, second, and third is a bit temperamental, but it is trying. Then we've got our indicator, other indicator, and our horn, which unfortunately is completely dead. You can also look for different things on our sat nav, that's very loud. Right, give me a second, I'm going to dim all of the lights and see if we can get a slightly better picture. Okay, we've gone to subtle mood lighting. Hopefully it's somewhat better, because we turn off the next set of lights, it's going to be very dark in here indeed. So here we go. Let's try and focus in ever so slightly. And as you can see, there is a small map and you can just go around driving and do whatever you want. That's me reversing and now let's go into second. Third gear is just not, oh no, there we go. Oh, that was like the Fast and Furious. Let's go completely dark. I'm gonna put a very small side light on and see what picture that gives us. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut in now. Um, as you can see, I've turned off most of the lights. So you're actually being powered by two monitors only. And it's now far too bright on the actual unit for it to focus. So I'm gonna take the overhead camera down and actually show you what I would be seeing if I was playing with this myself. And then we'll probably end the video there because this has been a lovely, nice, nostalgic throwback. But unfortunately, it does have to be sold. Okay, we are here, probably a little bit too zoomed in, but let's just fire it up. Oh, that's better. There we go. So this is second, just cruising along. And we'll look up to third, which is temperamental, but it's going. Oh, we are cooking on gas now. And that's just a case of just driving around, getting to where we need to go. Wow. Oh, I'm going to be pulled over by the police. I need to get out of here now. Quick, look into reverse. Oh, it actually turns all the way around. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's not going. Come on, third gear, third gear. We're going, we're going, we're getting out of here. Back into second. Sharp left. Oh no, we can't go there. Sharp right. And that's it. We are home and dry. And that was the Tomy Let's Go Learner Driver from 1990. Thank you for watching. Be sure to look at the other videos of how I afford to buy stuff like this and how I find stuff like this. You never know. You might enjoy what you see. But that's it from me as always. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you lovely lot in the next video. Au revoir.